ACM nominee and performer, the beautiful, the talented, rocking a hat this morning. It's Kelsey Ballerini. To cover up the fact that it was too early to shower. <laughs> oh, you look great. Thank you. And Good morning. Morning. I'm so excited to see you perform Middle Tennessee representing you and Kenneth. Kenny Chesney performing half of my hometown. Yes. <laughs> Don't call him Kenneth. That seems like it wouldn't be good. Um, I'm I'm so excited. Like he ever since he decided to sign on to this song and, and, and do this with me, we've just become like brother sister. Like we have such a fun relationship. And yesterday I was making eggs and he FaceTimed me. He was like, Hey, what do you want to wear for our performance? And I was like, I just if I could go back and tell little me driving around Knoxville listening to songs like I go back thinking how crazy it was that he was from the same place like if I could go tell her that we were going to sing this song about our hometown together on a stage like the ACMs like I just I'd pass out it's it's very cool and very full circle does mama ballerini freak out yeah both my mom and my dad are um are very proud and when when there's things like when I did hole in the bottle with Shania and now this with Kenny they're just like I think that's what they get the most excited about because like you know when when they were like in their like glory days that's that's what they were listening to absolutely and just logistically I just the curious the curiosity in me is like like, how's it going to work? You probably haven't performed with someone in a duet. Like, do you have to vax passport flash? We good. Like, logistically, how does it work? I, I actually don't know. The, the last collab I did uh, was for the CMT Awards when I did Other Girl with Halsey. And we had to stay six feet apart the whole time, which was super awkward because it was like the whole time we were supposed to be like mad at each other. So we were like... <laughs> but like six feet apart. We're like not intimidating at all. Um, in your face. Yeah, in your face, six feet away. Um, <laughs> so I, I don't know the protocol right now, um, but I'm like, just, I don't know how many times we're going to get to perform this song together. So I, I really want it to be about us and our connection to our hometown and to each other and to the song and just, and, and letting people hear it for the first time. Yeah, I'm sure they'll work it out. It seems like this one is more open than a lot of the award show has been. As honestly, the country opens up and we yeah. start to feel out what we can, you know, how far is too far apart. Yeah. So I'm excited to see the performance. I'm excited for you, you ACM female artist nominee, you. Congrats. Thank you. It was a, a really hard year, obviously, for everyone um, to navigate and especially as artists, just trying to find ways to stay creative and connected and I try to pivot in a million different ways to to stay connected and and the fact that people thought that I did that well is it's a big deal to me it's pretty amazing and I think you also were super responsible along the way and and raised your hand when you thought yeah this isn't what we should be doing which shows real leadership honestly Thanks. I think I'm stepping into that role more and more, like just as I grow up and get my footing as a person and the things that I'm like, okay, like this, this is what I'm going to hang my hat on. This is what I want to stand for. Um, and you know, like you kind of fumble along the way and it's awkward when you do it publicly, but, um, yeah, I think, I think I'd rather like get my footing and, and really start kind of digging in on the things that I want to stand up for. I love that. Yeah. Now you are nominated with a bunch of badass women yeah. and I was trying to get creative. Like how could I really get a sense for, you know, this girl power? Cause I've often said there's nothing more power th powerful than a group of women on a like-minded mission. So I know you'll be happy for everyone, but I was thinking, yeah. okay, what if all these girls went on a post lockdown vacation together? So I'm going to get, get you to think about this of, and, and include yourself you know, you're you're on vacation with Miranda and Ashley and Marin and Carly. Who's drunk on the plane? Oh, that's a tie between Marin and Ashley. Oh, really? I yeah. thought it'd be straight on Miranda, but okay. I'm, I'm I, I learning know Miranda some... the least, so I feel like I can't okay. I can't claim that for her, but maybe it is. <laughs> okay. Who forgets their passport? Me. Hundred percent, the least responsible. Really? Yes, you're, God, yes. you're that girl. Well, you've got handlers. That's good. Um, who empties out the mini bar? Um, Carly and I. I love it. Uh, who who she overposts says, the wine? I say find the wine. That's why we're friends. <laughs> that's awesome. Who overposts on social media? And we're like, oh, come on, be cool. 
I actually thought that would be you. Yeah, like of amazing. all those girls, she's the one. I'm trying Which to get a- better at it, but I still, I like to overshare. It's part of my shtick. I like it though, because it's, it's personal and relatable without being too private, right? That's yeah. the balance. Yeah, it's, it's a fine line, but I try to walk it. And of all your fellow nominees, who does the most daredevil thing? You know, the, there's always one that's like, let's parasail, let's bungee jump. See, I, I assume that would be Miranda. To me, she seems like like the wild card. Do you get it? That's her album. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're on fire, Kelsey Ballerini. <laughs> and speaking of Mama Ballerini, with Mother's Day coming up, like what's the one song that you're like, oh, that's my mom. That's that's the, that's the song that reminds me of my mom. Oh, God. Um, well, her favorite song on my current album is Holding the Bottle, which says a lot. Um, <laughs> but there's there's some stuff that I'm working on that is um, you'll, you'll, you'll understand it when you hear it, that she, she really loves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the best advice mama ballerini gave you? Ever since I was like a middle schooler, my, my parents split up when I was 13. And so um, I think she could tell I was very like fragile and I was like trying to figure out like just, I don't know, all my feelings, big feelings, little kid. And um, she would always say before I left the house, she would say, remember who you are. And I was like, mom, that's so lame. What does that even mean? (laughs) And now I'm like, oh my God, like that, that probably like really just went through my veins and is the reason that I like stayed on track my whole life, you know? I kind of got a little weepy there as a mom. And it got to me. That's like, that's a good, that's great advice. Yeah. Well, remember who you are Sunday night. <laughs> I will. I will have a great performance with Kenny and uh, good luck on the award. Thank you. It's good to see you. Kelsey Ballerini.